Uh, my name is David Cooper. I'm a student at Mount West and I'm in the electronics technology program. My partner isn't here. His name is Dave Henderson. Uh, we built this project. It's a lock and dam. And uh, basically, it operates just like your large scale lock and dams and your bigger rivers. Uh, if you're going down a river and say the water level, you're in a low water level and you go to high, you're going to go into a lock. It's going to fill up water slow to where it equals the level of the higher side. Then it's going to open up and you're just going to go out. And that's what we tried to demonstrate with this. Yeah, um, we basically wanted to run off the PLC system for the whole thing. Um, big problem we encountered is with the doors. We needed to use smaller uh, servo motors to operate the doors. And we couldn't program those into the PLC system. So we had to use uh, what we call an Arduino which is a smaller chip basically and that's what's operating our doors and to uh, do that we had to use a programming it's called a four point time delay we've never done it before so we had to do research into that and I'd say that was our biggest problem was uh, basically doing something we've never done before okay um, well we got you know, your basic wiring your relays from your PLC cabinet um, your basic, you know, your standard plumbing for housing. Um, you got uh, little servo motors. I mean, they're they're stout. We wanted them strong enough to keep pressure. That way, the water wouldn't push them open, and it would help seal the water in, so we wouldn't have any leaks. Uh, on this system, not so much because the water flows so slow. We don't have any splashing around or spraying or anything. So, I mean, we just kind of keep the wires underneath like, like you can see, and we haven't had any water splash out or anything. So that really wasn't a big concern of ours. Power was, it was going to give too much power to the servo motors. And so the Arduino is going to go with a one, like a 110 into the servo motors, and we couldn't get the PLC directly into the motors. But we do have, like, uh, the program to run the motors is with the Arduino, but to operate the switches, we did run with the PLC. So it, it does do all the mechanical work, except for that little bit of programming. It was a lot, it was a lot more difficult than we thought it was. Just, it, it was a lot more of the, the programming side than we thought it would be, especially as we got the Arduino input in there. Um, but, uh, I mean, we're pretty proud of it. <laughs> it's it's a slow moving project, but you know your life size locking dams don't move fast. So.